שם זה, ושבת עד השם אלוקיך, ושמעת בקולו. השם גבע סאצ'ה גפט. It's called תשובה, repentance. People take it for granted. There's no such concept anywhere in the world besides Hashem. No one will give you a break if you owe millions of dollars. dollars. No one will forgive your debt. No one will forgive you if you hurt them. You say one word to a person, he hates you for 20 years, even if it's your own brother. It's very hard for people to forgive. How many divorce cases over stupid things that you cannot believe that people destroy their children because of ego, because of stupid things. But a person that was a mass murderer committed a genocide, killed millions of people. What could be worse than that? Millions of people died from his end. In one day can become righteous. I, I regret what I've done. I'm ashamed. If I could go back in time, I would definitely do things differently. Please forgive me. I'm begging you. That minute, even though you cannot return back to life all the people you kill, you cannot compensate all the widows, all the orphans that are in the world because of you. I mean, you destroyed so many families and all of a sudden Hashem agreed to take you back. And you may even never share to the world to come. Even though you are a mass murderer. Who can give me a proof for that? Maybe not everyone can do tshuva. Maybe there is a limit. The answer is Nebuzardan. The right hand man of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Babylonian empire, he killed more than 20 million people. Without bombs. With no nuclear bombs. With hands, bone and arrows, with burning places. That's how he killed people, him and his soldiers. 20 million people they killed. What happened in the end? He converted to Judaism and became religious Jew. Religious Jew. I want to faint just from thinking about it, that someone like that will be one day in heaven. And there are such nice, good hard Jews that are Mechalelei Shabbat that they will never be in heaven. Even though they never murder even a bug. They never murdered 20 million people, not even one person. It looked uh, imaginary. Who can imagine such thing? That's the power of tshuva. You have a girl that had the intimacy with her boyfriend before the marriage. One time. She's not a virgin anymore. And then she died without tshuva. She could lose her olam haba. It's Yisro Karet for something like that. Then you have a woman named Rachav, one of the biggest prostitutes in history, in a time of uh, 3,000 years ago. Every important person come to be with her intimately for money, for who knows how many decades. One day she realized who are the chosen people, who is God, what he have done for the Jews. And she decided to leave the prostitution, to convert, to become Jewish. She became a righteous woman and in the end married the most important person, tzaddik in the world, Joshua. The one who took Moshe Rabbeinu's place. Rachav, that poha was with hundreds of men or maybe thousands of men there's no details about how many men she had in a scene yes, she is in heaven for sure in the highest place now and one Jewish girl now religious Shomer Shabbat went with a boyfriend one time Isur Karet and died without Shuva she has a very serious problem if she is lucky and Hashem will send her back to the world in reincarnation this time she will have to become more righteous and not to do things like that. So maybe after all she will have heaven. But if not, she will go to hell. So Rachav went to heaven after doing who knows how many thousands of serious sins. And this little girl that used to be in a religious yeshiva, she did not go to heaven. That's the power of tshuva. Don't ever underestimate this power of the word tshuva. The Gemara said, Tshuva is such a miracle that it was created before the world. 
Because once the world was created, there is no way to create such a concept of repentance because it contradict all the laws of nature and all logical things. Complete, not, completely not logical. A person will be a mass murderer for 50 years and then the last year of his life will be a big tzaddik and sit and learn Torah and give tons of charity and regret all the people he killed and he will go to heaven. It's not logical. Imagine 20 years you steal electric from the electric company. You're already selling it to the neighbors. 20 years, there's glitch in the computer, they're not sending you a bill. Your air, your air conditions is on even in the winter. Okay. When you go away. Why not? It's free. When you know how people go on sales? Where are you going? To the mall. Why? There is a sale. But you have hundreds of these. What well, do you need another one? But it's 50% off. <laughs> I feel like I'm saving 50%. But why are you never going to use it? You're losing 50%. The 50% that you're going to pay, it's pure loss. Because you don't need the object. That's the way the Satan is convincing us. So imagine 20 years you didn't pay your electric. It's thousands of dollars every month. 20 years, it's me, over a million dollar debt with interest and all of that. In a computer it shows, but it, they don't link the bill to you. Excellent, something went wrong. And then someone just found it. Immediately they contact the FBI, it has to be a hacker, he did something in a computer, you get arrested. <laughs> You come in front of the judge and what is the problem? You never send me the bill. You didn't think anything is wrong? Consuming electric without paying? It's stealing. The fact you didn't get a bill doesn't mean it's not stealing. Listen, you're right. I wasn't 100%. But let's make a deal. From today, I will, I'll pay all my, my bills. Whatever happened, happened. Please forget about it. I'm really ashamed about it, Your Honor. I'm ashamed. I regret, I will send a letter of apology to the electric company. As of today, fix the bill, I will pay it on time, I can give you even my credit card up front for all the pay. You don't have to chase me. The judge said, what about the two million, one million plus penalty and interest of 20 years? You owe two million dollars. This we say, we forget. The judge will say, Make him an appointment with a psychiatrist. This person obviously is not normal. Why is not normal? Because only a fool would suggest such a thing to the judge, right? You have to be a super stupid person to offer such thing. In everything in life, except between you and Hashem. With Hashem, it actually works. Well, actually it works.